There are certain guys, we talk to the, these players all the time, they say they live for the moment. And Trey Turner always seems to be up in those moments. Remember the WBC, CY, the Grand Slam, you know, throw the bat, and here he is again. I, I do, I do. Say. For some reason, it seemed like he probably set, his up, set himself up for failure a little bit by going so crazy <laughs> in the WBC. But honestly, when you think about the Phillies, they're going to go as Trey Turner goes. And I understand that he got off to a tough stretch you know, to start the season. But you realize Trey Turner is a superstar player. He's going to be that superstar guy. So we can't let this small sample size throw everybody off guard. I know the Phillies fans have been a little rough on him. Trey Turner doing a great job taking that in strides. And his mom is right there with the fan base. But everybody's expecting the Trey Turner that they've seen pretty much his entire career from Washington to the Dodgers. This guy shows he's still this complete player. He's going to play defense. He's going to run the bases really well. He's going to hit for power. In the WBC, he absolutely went crazy. So, yeah, he gets shipped off to Philly. He's excited. You know, he's heading to the tunnel. Everybody's excited to see what's on the other side of that. And spring training, you get spoiled. The WBC comes around. Literally, everything they're flipping up to the dish is getting smashed out of the ballpark. You're like, man, I knew Trey Turner had power, but is he going to do this all season long? Is he going to come out and hit 60 home runs and steal 60 bases? I don't know, but that sets unfair expectations on him as a player. Maybe you try to make a little bit of an adjustment. The Phillies fans are expecting that day in and day out, and you're with a new team, and with that extra pressure sometimes, you speed up a little bit. You try to do a little too, bit too much, but trust me, everybody, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. He grinded yesterday. He hit the ball hard the other way. This is a good sign of things to come. He's able to go out there, barrel the ball, swing at good pitches. He's trying to stay with his approach. Couple balls in the air, ground ball up the middle, tries to use his speed, gets unlucky with the bad hop right there off the glove. And then you had his fourth at bat, the one that his mom was booing at him for. <laughs> you know, he was expanding the zone a little bit. Sometimes you're just trying to do a little bit too much. You never see Trey Turner swing at a pitch like that. And that really forces me to look deeper, a little deeper into the numbers, see what is Trey Turner doing this year. And that's when we pull up this chase rates board. I mean, you can see year after year. I know in 2022, his chase rate went up quite a bit. This year, as high as it's ever been. And that really makes something stand out to me as far as even the best of best players. We've all gone through this to where when we're trying to press a little bit, trying to do a little bit too much, everything just speeds up. And he'll go back and forth from having his foot down early, from going to the leg kick. And he's kind of in between right now. Let's go to the video. I built a little side by side that I want to show. And I want everybody just to pay attention. You have to, we have to look at this in full speed because slow mo doesn't do it justice. But just look at, look at the tempo and the relaxedness in his hands on the left side. See how nice and loose and early he is on that left side in WBC. On the right side, it's just a little quicker. Everything's happening one time. One more time. On the left side, loose and early. On the right side, you see the little more tension in his hands. Yeah. Everything's moving just a little bit faster. That forces everything to move at one time and you don't have the time to recognize the pitch. His last at bat, he made a good adjustment. He's staying in swing mode. Granted, this is a slider, a hanging slider, top of the zone. If he's in swing mode, he's going to hit that pitch every time. But with Trey Turner, this is the grind that all players go through, is that you're trying to slow everything down. You're trying to get ready as early as possible. But you can see that tension in his hands. But the light at the end of the tunnel, we've seen this before. Other superstar players that have made, you know, got the big signing, moved to a new team, felt that pressure right out of the gate. We know Lindor struggles. I mean, those are well documented with Mets fans. Seager and Simeon, back to back. They made, the Rangers went out and made both of those signings. Coming out the gate, everybody was concerned. Who are these players going to be? Since then, those players have all taken off. Seager and Simeon's having one of the best years for second basemen right now. And let's pull up Trey Turner's career numbers. You're going, he's going to be this player. So you can't allow a quarter of a season to let everybody panic and think that Trey Turner's not going to be this player. He's still this player. Sometimes as small of an adjustment as just slowing things down, getting good pitches to hit, and that's what he's doing right now. So Roflo, no panic in Philly. Yeah. Trey Turner's going to be fine. He's still that caliber of player. He still brings so much to the game. And once he locks, locks pitches into that strike zone, he's going he's gonna to take off.